Hi, my name is Pearl Uberu and I am a technical marketing engineer here at Databricks. Given the complexities surrounding a data mesh framework, I'll share with you how the Databricks data intelligence platform makes it easy for you to discover, query, and govern all of your data no matter where it lives. Thousands of organizations of all sizes are innovating across the world with data and AI on the Databricks data intelligence platform. But for historical, organizational, or technological reasons, data is scattered across many operational and analytic systems, causing more challenges. First, not all data is in one place, making it difficult to discover and access all data. Most organizations have valuable data distributed across multiple data sources. It may be in several databases, a data warehouse, object storage systems, and more. This leads to incomplete data and insights, which hinders customers' ability to make informed decisions and innovate faster. Second, data integration takes time and resources, which slows down execution due to engineering bottlenecks. To query data across multiple data sources, customers typically need to first move their data from external data sources to their platform of choice. Some data might not even be worth the effort. Some data will take too long before landing in a single unified location, slowing down innovation. And lastly, fragmented governance leads to weak compliance across siloed systems. Fragmented governance leads to duplication of efforts and increases the risk of not being able to monitor and guard against inappropriate access or leakage which hinders collaboration and data democratization. Lakehouse Federation addresses these critical pain points that a data mesh would promote and makes it simple for organizations to expose, query, and govern siloed data systems as an extension of their Lakehouse. These new capabilities, you can automatically classify and discover all of your data, structured and unstructured, in one place and enable everyone in your organization to securely access and explore all the data available at their fingertips, no matter where it is. You can also accelerate ad hoc analysis and prototyping across all of your data, analytics, and AI use cases on the most complete data. No ingestion required with a single engine. Advanced query planning across sources and caching ensures optimal query performance even when accessing and combining data from multiple platforms with a single query. And lastly, you can use one permission model to set and apply access rules and safeguard all of your data across data sources. You can apply rules like row and column level security, tag-based policies, centralized auditing consistently across platforms, track data usage, and meet compliance requirements with built-in data lineage and auditability. This demo will consist of various data spread across Postgres, MySQL, and my Delta Lake. And I'll show you how to discover, govern, and query this data in a unified and easy way. Let's get into the workspace to see exactly how this works. Here, I'm in my Catalog Explorer. This is where we'll find our regular standard catalogs that are based on our cloud storage data and our foreign catalogs that allow connection into external database sources. To federate into an external database system, a connection needs to be created and subsequently a foreign catalog. A connection specifies a path and credentials to access this system. To create a connection, you can use the Catalog Explorer or the Create Connection SQL command in a Databricks notebook or the Databricks SQL editor. I'm going to create the connection to Postgres by just using this function and then creating a foreign catalog that will mirror my Postgres database in Unity Catalog so that I can query the data and manage Databricks user access to this database. I'll do the exact same thing here for my MySQL instance. Back in the Catalog Explorer, by selecting the external data, then connections, I can confirm that my connections have been made. Now that they have been confirmed, 
we can grant access to any user or groups of users to use this connection. This promotes democratic data processing in a seamless and efficient way. To create a connection, you must be a Metastore admin or a user with the Create Connection privilege on the Unity Catalog Metastore attached to the workspace. Back in our Catalog Explorer, we can view our new Postgres catalog and MySQL catalog. We can see the catalogs we just made and the schemas from our Postgres instance have populated and we can see the tables within the schema. We can also preview the data in Postgres by viewing the sample data in Databricks. Best of all, we can provide access to users and groups of users by setting up permissioning at the catalog levels. This allows users to use the catalogs and provide more flexibility for the appropriate team to respond to data changes quickly. To create a foreign catalog, you must have the Create Catalog permission on the Metastore and be either the owner of the connection or have the Create Foreign Catalog privilege on the connection. Additionally, with the power of Unity Catalog, we can provide both row and column level security for our external database tables. Here is the original online users table from our Postgres instance. Then I'll create a function that will mask a certain column if I am a super admin. Then I can apply that mask function to my online users table. And because I am in fact a super admin, the last name column is now masked. The ability to work with your data, no matter where it lives, is important to our customers here at Databricks. And so in this particular notebook, I've gone ahead and created a Delta table called PD join by doing a right join on the online users table from my Postgres instance and a loan data table, which is a Delta table. Similarly, I've also created a Delta table called PM join that joins data from the Postgres instance online users table and MySQL external table. Let's see how these tables relate to one another by taking a closer look at the data lineage. It's important to note that since the foreign catalog mirrors the database, it will automatically capture any data or metadata changes occurring there in real time with no caching or manual synchronization involved. Because of this, Databricks takes on all of that data or metadata change and allows you to visualize upstream and downstream notebooks, workflows, dashboards, tables, and views associated with your data. As you can see in the lineage graph here, we can see how tables were created, starting with federating into Postgres directly from Databricks and subsequently our Delta tables. Also, we can see the lineage between our other Postgres table and MySQL table as well. So now you know how